Let me get you up and turn this down. Give me a little check, check one, two. Hey, how you doing? All right, people, so we're here. Nathan Richardson, CCP Games, EVE Online. It's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. I haven't seen you in quite a while. When's the last time we hung out? Was We've seen each other since EVE Fan Fest. We saw each other at GDC San GDC, Francisco. San Francisco, San yeah. Francisco, yeah. yeah. Good so time. what are you up to? I, I want let's start with this because there might be some people on the show. It's a new show, a lot of new <clears> listeners. <throat> let's just start with. Why don't you just tell people what Eve Online actually is? Because there's some people who might not know. Well, yeah. It, well, fundamentally, it's a massively multiplayer game, sci-fi massively multiplayer game, right? But uh, probably the the thing that defines us the most is that uh, usually massively multiplayer game has 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 multiple shards, multiple servers, right? But uh, Eve all happens in uh, one massive universe. So there's 300,000 people there playing together, and it's a massive political, social atmosphere, and uh, and uh, it's it's sci-fi opera at its best, I guess. It is sci-fi opera. <laughs> I remember my first. What what turned me on to Eve is I remember the story of I, I hadn't played it before, and I read this story about how this player started a a, a virtual bank in Eve, um, where he would. You'd give him your ISK, which is the in-game currency, yep. and he, just like a real bank would, he would give you, you know, like percentages on your money and hold your money, and and he just acquired billions and <clears throat> billions. Probably, I don't, you'd probably know the number. Was it hundreds of billions? Yeah, it was quite a lot. It was quite a lot yeah, of yeah. ISK, and then he just decided to like heist and scheme. It, it was a basic Ponzi scheme. So yeah. Let me ask you a question. When that, when things like that happen in Eve, I picture the entire like crew and the dev just cheering. Not that you're excited about the fact that that happens, but it's it's the fact that your game allows things like that to happen, to me, is is very exciting. Well, yeah, the, the fundamental thing is that we kind of provide a sandbox to play in, right? And there's like, there's, there's a box, which everything that happens within is just beautiful and, and emergent. And when this stuff happens, it's just, it's, it's amazing to see what actually emerges out there. And so, of course, yeah, I mean, we, we think it's pretty amazing that that uh, you can do pretty much anything and and get away with it in most cases, uh, but I mean it's 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 the fundamentals of Eve is that that we think that you should uh, be able to experience really lows and really highs. So there, I mean there you have um, a lot of people which experienced a lot of lo loss around it, but it really means that everything becomes so much more meaningful. I mean uh, there's a lot of trust that it can be gained and it can be lost as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean it, it's it's really amazing for us when we see it. it um, obviously, it's not good for those that lost their money. Right. But I think it really really portrays the uh, a brutal universe where I mean there are good people people and bad people. Just like the real world, right? Yeah, pretty much. And that's what's always drawn me to Eve Online is that the tools are it's like it's just a perfect setup of tools to give the users to create these things manipulate them, do what they want with them, and they probably end up playing the game in ways that you guys don't even expect sometimes, and amazes you. Uh, does it all the time. I mean, it, it never ceases to amaze me what happens. And there is no other game company out there, people, that, that does this. I mean, I, hate, I know you don't want to say that, but there is no other game on the market that really compares to the scope of what EVE is. I'm going to jump forward a little bit to the newer stuff that you guys are talking about. Yep. And you've got to wrap my head around Dust 514 because I still don't fully understand it because it's such a mind-boggling. It's so awesome. Yeah, my, I mean, um, so we we look at Eve as a as a universe, and it's something that you can access and should be able to access from anywhere. Uh, we we want to to uh, deliver the uh, Eve experience to console, and um, uh, we didn't even start thinking about like, okay, should we port Eve and put it on console? Because that's not the experience that people are actually going for on console. Anymore. And I can't even imagine how you would actually play Eve on a console. So we were thinking, okay, how, how can we like expand the Eve universe and really uh, break down the barriers of, of being in a 3D client, right? So uh, we started looking at, at console and, and seeing what kind of gameplay really is native to that platform. So shooter, uh, it has some RTS elements to it, and it's going to be an MMO. But the thing is that this is still going to be the EVE universe. I mean, they are interconnected in a meaningful way so they can affect each other. Explain that to me. How are they interconnected and how do they <coughs> affect each other? Well, I can't go into much detail with that yet. But the thing is that, the, imagine that you have the space captains on the EVE Online side, in the MMO there, and then you have planets. And um, the, 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 the fleet wants to take over the planets and you need, like, marines. So that's how it works. So here's your Marines, yes. and you're going to have to have strategy and yes. communication. and It's all the same, same network. It's, it's just a huge universe, and they're all interacting on all levels. And uh, I mean, they're, they're mutually beneficial for each other. So, I mean, 
I as a mercenary get just paid for taking over planets. That's going to be very cool. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it sounds very cool. As soon as I heard about it, I was blown away. Just, I, I mean, I've been following MMOs for a really long time now, and you know, obviously we're all used to the traditional PC game. Sure. And now we're seeing more companies start creating MMOs on consoles with DC Universe Online, things mm -hmm. like that. Sure. But to now take the two, and it's funny because I remember back when I went to the first fan fest when you invited us out, and one of the first things you said was, you know, at, at CCP at all times we have a 10 year plan of EVE. Yeah, yeah. And the first thing I thought about, well, what does that mean? Does that mean, you know, EVE 2 is going to come out? Or, and you immediately were like, no, like, that's not, we're not doing it like that. We're just going to, and then you did the graphics upgrade and completely <coughs> revamped that. So it's like a whole new EVE with all new graphics, yeah. everything's up to date. And so. now it's like, okay, let's expand it again. And let's not do it like anybody else would do it. Let's do it to consoles and have it talk to each other. It's not boring anyways. I mean, let, let's try something new, like push I, the envelope. and. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not fun in, unless you're trying to do something that's insane and uh, most likely to fail, is it? No, Because it's then not. when you succeed, it's It's much that fun. much better. Yes. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's not going to fail. It's just that, I mean, uh, we, we've never gone the, uh, you know, the, the, the same path as everybody else. We think that uh, there's a lot of room to innovate. There's a lot of room to uh, check out. We, we look at it, at adjacent uh, industries and see what they're doing and uh, see if we can learn something from there. And uh, I guess that... Um, uh, we're just excited of, of, of trying out this approach rather than anything else. I mean, we, we don't have a lot of belief in that you can actually uh, have the same MMO with the same people playing the same game because th these are inherently two different platforms. It's two different ways of playing games. It's laid back, which is like, like, like right, right. Uh, forwards. And uh, I think that uh, as an example, I mean, we're just starting with console. I mean, the EVE universe will be on every imaginable platform out there. That's amazing. And what's up with, I know you've, you've talked a little bit about in the past, talking about platforms. Um, EVE Social Network, yes. getting into that? What, what can well, you tell us about that? Uh, well, it's, it's the thing is that we're doing now is that uh, we're basically developing, uh, uh, well, we're basically breaking down the barrier again with, with EVE in, in that you'll be able to access uh, a lot of the gameplay um, through the web. But you'll also be able to communicate with everybody in-game. In and you will also be able to actually um, have like public profiles and, and really have like organizational tools and, and and really the fundamental things that you need to actually organize yourself as a group. Right, so it's going to be like a Facebook, but it's going to be completely tailored for the EVE player. Absolutely, absolutely. Which, which I, I've been... And of course, all, all the functionality will of course be in-game as well, so it's, it's, it's totally it, it's both ways. 